Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, Rakamov and Eduardo Nunez. This is going to be a thriller. Um, this is a really, really high-level fight. It's a really good fight. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be the fight of the year, but it's that style of fight. Like, this is a, a high entertaining, high action fight. Before we get into it, guys, I'm getting all types of requests to, to do handicap fights. I'm happy to do it. Join the Patreon. Okay, I put a lot of work in these videos. I, I watched, you know, uh, I scoured the internet and I found four Nunez fights to watch for this fight, right? One of them was quick, whatever. But, and then uh, you, you, the Rock and Bob fights, I probably watched three or four of those. I, I'm putting three hours of watching film into each, you know, into the fighters before making the video, right? So, like, you know, I'm happy to do it, but just join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. You can ask. You can ask me to handicap any fight. You get the free T-shirt. You get lock of the week. It's not going to cost you money. It's going to make you money because you're getting the lock of the week. You're getting to handicap the fights that you want, so you can bet on the fights that you want, and you, and you can feel comfortable that you're going to win. You know that you're usually going to win, which we have. We're four and zero. So join the Patreon. You get all those perks for five dollars a month. All right, guys. Also follow me all from social media. Three D boxing, three D boxing blog, and on my other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Let me close this. Real quick. All right. Let's get into this fight because this is a barn burner. And a Texas boxing scene, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, so let's get into this fight because this is a barn burner. It's a really good fight. I've changed my mind on this. Yes, the boxing book he had first impression. He went back and watched it. Now I've changed my mind. I, I, I think someone else is going to win. I've changed my mind on, on who I think is going to win. Uh, both the guys are front foot fighters. Both guys are heavy on a front foot. But they, they, they apply it differently. Uh, Rakamov is a southpaw. He's much more of a volume puncher. Um, he's a little bit – his movement is not bad. Like, he, you can tell he was trained well, but it's a little bit robotic, right? Like, he is bending at the waist, not so much the knees. And it's just – he doesn't look totally fluid, but he is not also – he's also not completely stationary, head on a line. Um He's, but he, he, when he comes in, he oftentimes he is wide open. He's he's easy to time, right? And I I, I have questions about Rockamuff's power. I, I know his Nunez has a one hundred percent knockout ratio. You go watch his tapes, you understand that this guy can hit. Rockamuff's a little bit different. He's got a really good knockout ratio. I think he's got fourteen knockouts into seventeen wins. Yeah, fourteen knockouts into seventeen wins. But it's a lot of volume. It's a lot of beat. Downs over time. I I don't know that he has one punch power. Both guys in this fight are flawed. Both men are flawed. Neither guy is is technically sound or, or or savvy, right? Like both guys have huge deficiencies. Both guys are really good offensive fighters. Um, we know that Nunez has no problems with Southpaws. He's beaten Southpaws in the past. Uh, Rakimov, I think, he, coming in so wide open. He's going to get nailed a lot. And yes, Rockamol has an excellent chin. But Nunez is a special hitter. And I can't see Rockamol lasting in these exchanges for 12 rounds. He's going to get caught. He's going to get broken down. I'm not saying Rockamol is a feather fist. He's not. I, I just don't think his power is as great. I don't think it's one punch spectacular power. And with Nunez, it really only takes one. And if, if he doesn't score that one, he's going to score a bunch of other ones that are going to break your face and break you down because his power is damaging. And I'm not saying Rockamuff is feather fist. I think Rockamuff is a good fighter. Like I said, I always say Rockamuff is a B plus fighter. You hear me use this term all, all the time. What I mean by that is he loses to all the A level fighters and beats everybody else. He's a B plus fighter. Um, a lot of times he, he's wide open when he comes in, he lunges. On a shot, specifically the straight left, he'll lunge, um, and you can tag him. Uh, you know, he's got a really good chin. He's relentless, but not super athletic. You know, he, he's fundamentally okay, but he's not super athletic. Um, you know, a lot of times he is stationary, and he's just there to be hit. And this is why, like, when you saw him fight Joe Cordina, um, he, he came up just short because Cordina can figure him out, right? And Eddie Vasquez, who I thought beat Joe Cordina – 
can't hit as good as Rakimov, so he couldn't damage him as much as Rakimov, but Eddie Vasquez was more athletic. He's more mobile. He made Cordina miss. He was able to make Cordina fight more on his terms than Rakimov has because Rakimov was just straightforward and easy to hit. When you're easy to hit, eventually they're going to break you down. They can adjust, and you're going to slow down. Um, so getting to Nunez, I mean, Nunez doesn't jab. He's not a high-volume guy. He's looking to score knockouts, and he's done that in every single fight he's won. 26 wins, 26 knockouts. You can see his power is special. He's got really good uppercuts on the inside. The lead hook, everything is thrown hard. He's got this really wide stance that I hate when you see a lot of power hitters using it. What he does do is he cuts the ring off. There's no getting away from it. Not, not, not how Rock him off is going to be running, but – you can't really get away from this guy. He's really good at cutting off the ring. Like I said, when you're really good at cutting off the ring and you throw everything hard, you're going to do well offensively. Now, defensively, he's a mess. He's wild. He's wide open. Uh, there's a little bit of Navarrete to him, although not that extreme, which is kind of like, but guy, you're, you're, you're going to get tagged. Um, but he, he does things well. Like He does subtle things well. Like He cuts off the ring. He's a good fighter. He's got uh, – Really good timing on his shots. He times shots really well. Where, like I said, Rockamoff is more I go, you go, I go, you go. Rock, Rock, uh, Nunez will come over shots. He'll throw in between your punches. I just think the totality of what he does, even though, yes, he is flawed, and we can point out his flaws, um, I, I think he wears down and 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 stops rocking off. So I'm calling the little upset in this fight. Uh, let's take a look at the odds. The odds, it's a plus 165 for Nunez. And to me, it's simple. It's just a one-times bet. Um, I would probably take him by stoppage, although who knows? I think there's two ways, this fight, three ways this fight can go. I think Rockamoff can win by stoppage. I mean, I would think Rockamoff can win by points. Or I think Nunez, Rockamoff can only win by points. I don't think he can stop. Rakimov can stop, Nunez, Nunez can stop, Rakimov and Nunez can win on points uh, by culmination of, of beating him down. My hunch is he stops him late. That's the wrong one. What is Eduardo Nunez? There it is. Uh, okay, let me. I'm not sharing this with you. Let me share this with you so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, there's the bet. Uh, one times bet. Is going to make you $165. So it pays pretty well. I, I think this, uh, you know, I, I think the odds are only favor Rockamore because he's the more established body with the bigger name. But a lot of those names aren't wins. So I'm not expecting him to win today either. Nunez has the loss on his record a long time ago. Uh, but, you know, he's knocked everyone out. He's steamrolled people. I, I'm, I'm picking Nunez. I think Nunez probably stops him. I don't have, I don't have any props or an over under. Uh, but I do have a money line that pays 165 plus 165, so I'm going to take that. And I think that's a really, really, really good bet. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please remember to follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also subscribe uh, Also subscribe to my Patreon. It's $5 a month, guys. I'm not trying to, you know, fleece you for money or anything. It's just $5 a month. I'll, I'll do all the legwork that you want, the, you know, the, the, the lock of the week. Um, the, I'm sorry, the, the lock of the week, um, the free t-shirt, the, uh, uh, the, 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 you can request a handicap for any fight. I can do all of it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, we don't gamble here, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, we're going to show you how to consistently bring down the house and make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. There's always a bull market somewhere. Let's bring down the house together. Um, also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is February 13th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Ah. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.